Faith that is imposed by force has no value. It has no meaning. Faith must be given freely. This film is about the quest for God and the price attached to the right of a free expression of faith. The history of the church is a history of art, wars, conflict, and the persecution of dissidents. In Russia, monasteries and monastic life played a crucial role. Modern European civilization is rooted in monasticism. The Mongol Tatars were very loyal and tolerant toward the church and did not exact taxes from the church. In turn, the church gradually became a commercial enterprise and the church offices were sold for money. This led to the appearance or resurgence of the early Protestant movement Strigolniki. The Strigolniki movement began with a protest, was accompanied by protest, and it was suppressed as a typically reoccurring Protestant movement by the state apparatus. In its reprisals against Strigolniki, the Russian church opened a new page in its history that contains the one name that terrifies, the Inquisition. The Moscow state itself became the successor to Byzantium. Such a concept put the church in a unique position, giving it the right to prosecution. But in order to exercise this right in practice, it needed the support of the secular authorities, in particular the Tsar. The church should be separated from the state, definitely. The church has no position in statehood or preferences. The church is created by citizens who are equal. Government is universal in its hate of any spiritual search because walking in the path of a spiritual search is outside the control of the state. When I was baptized, I felt myself a Christian. I realized that I was free. I'm not afraid of anything, not the Communist Party or the KGB or the state. I realize that I do not have a judge other than God. 